So, same aiming point. Hope we get the same result. Off we close. Hello everyone and welcome back to AmmoMart.com where you can find real firepower online. I'm excited to be with you today because the star of our show is going to be one of these body armor plates. For our veterans out there, you're probably very familiar with this. This is APM2 level body armor. A civilian equivalent would be NIJ level 4. Okay? What it is, is Enhanced Small Arms Protective Insert or ESAPI. Over the course of time, the military keeps upgrading this, and one of the original versions was called SAPI. This is enhanced because it's about 25% heavier. For those of you that aren't familiar with this style of body armor, it's actually made of a high-grade boron carbide ceramic. They even use some of the material in tanks, so it obviously works. Now, this body armor plate that I have is supposed to stop even armor-piercing 308 rounds. And it's actually rated for three hits from a 308 or 762 by 51. Now, for those of you guys that are out there are really into ballistics, obviously I know the 308 operates at a much higher pressure. But the standard called for by the military was rated around M80 7.62 by 51 ammunition. So what I've done is we actually have and sell some of that ammo online. And I have developed a ballistic report that we'll put on the channel so you can kind of see what speeds we're running. I believe the average was 2,772 feet per second, but check out the still picture of it to be sure. Military standard called for that sort of range of around 2,750 to 2,775. So we're right there. But I'm not here to talk to you about the specs. You can look those up for your own. One of the things I'm going to try to accomplish with today's video is to see how well this holds up, not only with three strikes from an M80, but three strikes in very close proximity, sort of trying to get down to sub-minute of angle. I'll check the back and check for deformation every time that we fire, and through the magic of editing, hopefully that process will go pretty quickly. So, let's see. I know there's a lot of videos on the YouTube about, you know, this type of armor versus whatever caliber, but most of them have hits not in a close proximity. I'm mildly curious to see what will happen to a round that's been known to go through 3 8 inch steel when you put them in close proximity. So, let's go down, get behind the rifle, and see how this all goes. So the distance that we're going to work at is 50 yards. I've seen people do this demonstration at much, much closer ranges, but 50 yards and I do have a target over the top of the plate merely to give myself sort of a middle aiming point, take the human element out of it if possible. However, I have a feeling that once the round strikes the plate, it's going to get shredded into nothing. So be prepared for that. Hopefully it might be a cool visual. But this will be number one on the armor plate. As predicted. Gonna go down range and check for backside deformation. So you can see one heck of an impact crack the plate and I'll take the paper off when we're done just so I can use it as a common aiming point. I'm very excited the paper held up to allow me to do that. But if I pick this guy up and turn it around, you'll see, here's your impact point. I'll hold on to it with the finger. And there is, subtly, some deformation, but not super huge. And, you know, I certainly wouldn't want to get hit with it, but it did hold up pretty good. Let's go throw some more in there and see what happens. Same aiming point. Hope we get the same result. Off 
awfully close. Rip some more of the paper. Better keep that off my wife's truck. She'll be mad. It looks to be awfully close to the same spot. You can't really see any other huge craters around. What I'm going to do now is flip it around and see. Oh, yeah. You can see right here. We'll have to cut this apart when we get back to the lab and see, but it looks like to me that if you can get one in the same spot, bad juju for the wearer. So I'm going to try the third one and see what other kind of decay we can get. This would have probably resulted in a serious injury to the wearer. So this will be the third one, same aiming point if we can, of course. Looks good. I believe that I did my part. It's fairly easy to get to you know, sub MOA at 50 yards with the, with that rifle and set up. So I was pretty confident that I could get them down this, in the same shot hole pretty much. And if you look, what I did because of the result of shot number two was flip the plywood around so there was clean holes in it, so to speak. And you can see right here where the material from the plate came through and you can now, I'm going to try to get a video of this, see clean through the armor plate. I'm not sure, Matt, if we'll be able to get daylight through here or not, but obviously you can see the plywood has a hole in it. So this would have been a catastrophic event for the wearer as well. So what I would like to do is fire one more round at the plate. What I have is some rounds my son made for me. This is a 150 grain SST with some benchmark powder, I believe 24.7 grains, but I'll post the exact recipe with the primer on the site. This is, my rifle really likes this and he does an excellent job making it. Way to go, Sam, appreciate it. So our new aiming point will be here where I've circled the target. And what I'm hoping to find out is whether or not a ballistic tip or a hunting round can create the same crater as the full metal jacket. Time will tell, be right back with you. So this will be our last demonstration on the plate. As we said, now we're going to use a commercially available hunting round and see as long as I hit the plate, I'll be happy. I think I hit towards the top, causing it to tumble. So, since she tumbled down, try to set it back up. You'll notice that both rounds have the same relative impact point at 50 yards. And I must tell you, the ballistic tip hunter is at least as on par as the full metal jacket. Kind of do a side by side comparison of both first shots, so to speak. In my opinion, identical result. And when we flip her around, you can see roughly the same side, amount of backside de deformation as we had with the full metal jacket round. So, presumably if you do the same thing, you'll get the same result. So, the real question before us is, did the demonstration I do have any real practical purpose or use? I would suggest that it does. Here's why. Obviously, if you take an impact wearing any sort of body armor, you should take it out of service. After three rounds, we finally got one through the level four or the APM2 as the military calls it. 
Now you'd have to be the most unlucky guy in the world to get three of those pinpoint shots into the same hole. But what's significant to me about this is, is how well it actually works. That 7.62 by 51 is an extremely powerful round. And even though it is, this guy held up pretty good. So if you're currently serving in the military and carrying your plate, as heavy as it may be, and as annoying as you might get with it, you can trust assured that it will hold up extremely well under some very adverse conditions. I would totally trust my life to this. I'm glad I don't have to because I'm too old for that kind of foolishness, but an amazing system and it's only gonna get better. As we said, this is the enhanced. They started off with a different level. This is 25% more dense and heavy and things will only get better and hopefully more mobility for the wearer. Hope you guys enjoyed this demonstration and stay tuned next week where we're gonna shoot some more plate with a different caliber.